In this video, I'm going to show you how you can also create this amazing split screen effect in Adobe Premiere Pro with just a couple of clicks. Now I'm going to show you a couple different methods because there are many ways you can go about implementing the split screen effect. And this is actually something that is very commonly used in, you know, different movies, uh, even YouTube videos. So it's going to be a skill that you want to learn uh, so you can implement it in your own videos as well. So hope you're going to enjoy this and learn a lot from it. My name is Vince and let's jump right into it. The first thing you want to do is obviously you want to have multiple clips on your timeline that you are going to create the split screen effect from. So uh, what you want to do next is, uh, for example, I'm going to be working with these two clips in the um, you know first example. And what you want to do is you want to stack these on top of each other. So one clip is in you know one video track and then the other clip is on the video track on top of it. The next thing we are going to do is, well, I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can go about creating the split screen effect. So one of the ways, which is I think one of the most common ones is using the crop effect. So to apply that to your clip, what you want to do is you want to type in crop and then you know, put that on your clips or at least the clip that you want to crop in this case. And um, then you can go to your effect controls, select uh, the clip that's on top. And then here at the, you want to scroll down here a little bit, come here all the way to your crop effect. And, you know, depending on how you want to create the um, split screen, you can uh, select 50%, for example, let's say on the left, and then it's going to cut out, cut down like half of the screen on the, on the top, you know, clip from the left side. You could do the same thing from the right, from the top, the bottom, depending on how you want to split up the screen. And now if we watch this back, you can see we have this um, pretty cool split screen uh, effect. Now, if I wanted to do it in a different way, where let's say I cut down uh, the top 50%, I can just go here to the top and then boom, just like that, I have a different split screen effect. Now, if you want to, you can also uh, feather the edges so uh, you don't have that harsh of a transition. And if we go in this case to back up to the top and, you know, put the position down a little bit more, then it's going to look a whole lot better. So again, uh, this is another example of what you can create with the crop effect. Um, you know, very simple to create, but looks pretty uh, interesting in my opinion. And like I said, you could do this from any of the different angles, like you could crop the left side of the screen, the right side, the top, the bottom, however you want to do it. Now, if you are not happy with the positioning of uh, how you did it, then what you can always do is you can basically just go and uh, change the position, right? And uh, also change your crop to make sure that the part that you want to have in there is uh, left there and the part that you don't want is not there, right? So for example, if I only wanted to have like this mid section, uh, I can, you know, cut down maybe 25% from the top, maybe 25 from the bottom. Now I have the middle of it. I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, all the way down. And now, you know, it's cut exactly uh, to how I want it to be. Now, if you wanted to add, for example, a border as well uh, to your clip between uh, the two you know, clips, then what you can do as an example is you can come to Essential Graphics and then you can create a new item. Uh, you want to create an, a rectangle, right? And then you want to drag it out all the way throughout your screen just like so. And then what you wanna do is you want to change here the fill to whatever color you want to use. Let's say I just wanna use like a blue one. And then, you know, you can just drag it to where you want to have it on your screen. And, uh, you know, you make sure you extend it out to um, cover all your clip. And just like that, boom, we added a cool little border as well to our clips. Now. What if you wanted to do a different angled uh, split screen effect? Well, there are a couple ways you could go about it. One of the ways is to just grab your existing clip right here, and then you can scale it up a bit more, and then you can change the rotation of it just like that. Um, I'm going to you know, get uh, rid of the um, crop from the bottom, 
and then I'm going to reposition it a little bit more. And you can create a split screen effect with a different angle like this by just using the position, um, the rotation and the crop uh, effects or parameters. But in my opinion, another uh, kind of like better way to do it is using the radio vibe effect. So to do that, I'm going to use these two other examples and I'm going to go here to effects. I'm going to type in radial uh, wipe all right and then we want to apply that to our clip uh, right and then uh, once we come here to the effect controls you can see that here at the radial uh, wipe effect there is this transition completion percentage and if we put that to 50 percent we are going to get uh, exactly this kind of like look so you can create the same split screen effect with this as well and i actually prefer this over the other method and with this, we can change the start angle here. And uh, just like that, we can create these different angled split screen effects very, very simply. We don't have to mess around with the position, the scale, you know, the crop and all that stuff. Just apply this transition and tweak it a little bit. And we can still feather it out however we want to. So for example, I can feather it, you know, like this and, and create this uh, effect. Now, what if you wanted to have, uh, let's say three clips stack on top of each other? Well, for example, one thing I could do is I could just, uh, you know, put this clip on top as well. I can go ahead and uh, grab this uh, radio vibe effect, click command C on my keyboard uh, or control C if you are on Windows. And then I can press shift command V on the other clip. And now it, it basically pasted um, the same effect on the top clip. And if I go and I change the start angle to something else, um, like let's say exactly the, the opposite of the other one like this, and I can go and maybe like change the position a bit, uh, lower, right. If I wanted to, for example, and, uh, this other one, I can, uh, make a bit higher, for example, like this. Now I have three different clips and you can obviously arrange them however you want to, right? So there is like an unlimited amount of ways you could create the split screen effect, but this is one way to create uh, a three way split screen, or you could also just use the crop effect on all the different clips, cut out the certain part that you want and just place them next to each other using the position slider. So there are many ways to go about it. I hope you guys liked it. And you know, if you end up using it in one of your projects, let me know in the comment section below. If you wanna learn more about content creation and growing a YouTube channel, check out my masterclass magnetic editing in the description below. We are over hundred members at this point and people are loving it. So if you wanna be part of that community and learn from me directly on even bi-weekly group coaching calls, let me know. And uh, you know, if you have any questions, message me on Instagram or if you're ready to enroll and become part of our community, just click the link below and I will see you guys in the next one.